The whole thing about a stadium when it's empty is that it has this sort of cathedral feel to it. Even when somebody comes here, when it's quiet, when it's outside the championships, uh, most people I come across are still very impressed with the scale, with the size. It doesn't matter that it's not packed with 25,000 people, it's just got something about it and it sets them tingling and, and gets them uh, you know, into a motivational uh, frame of mind. It's just dead brilliant, it's dead good. They get to um, you know, tread the paths that these famous players have tread. Through sport, you can bring to education kids who normally don't want to know. Those kids that reject it, and therefore you get the opportunity to bring them back into education. I think one of the things that we capture here is self-esteem and motivation. The commitment, the passion, uh, the enthusiasm is all things in sport that hopefully then you can translate into any other aspects of life. Sport is all about making things accessible. It has uh, a, a tremendous uh, a time, time with ed education. It just shows you that it doesn't matter what your background is, it doesn't matter the, which problems you've faced you know, to get to the position that you're in at this moment. If you work hard and you take on the advice and learning skills from the teachers and the instructors on these courses, you can make a difference, you can improve your, your lot, and, and we're seeing that every, you know, every term. Bringing kids into, into this kind of environment has, has got to be the way forward. The Borough Council has formed a very strong partnership which I've been very fortunate to be part of. We're in this community, we're part of it. Having a learning zone so it takes you close to it. And of course, out of it comes kids who come and support Brentford. If you want to be part of the community, get yourself a learning zone. It's payback time and I think Arsenal understand that these are their supporters of the future. These are the local children. We do get a complete mix of children, all different sort of um, ethnic backgrounds um, and socio-economic backgrounds. We need to be very aware of not being some stuffy, old-fashioned institution. And again, for me, every time that some children come in here, whether it's for coaching or for playing for success, uh, you know, it just lifts the whole place. Kids can associate with, with sports because it's something they do themselves. Association with uh, star players, whether it be Andy Murray at tennis or Wayne Rooney at football, is something that always impresses children. Crumbs, it impresses me. You know, somebody that you know you look up to, making an effort just to talk to you and uh, spend a couple of hours with the kids, and you know, it's just uh, it's brilliant, it's great. At the end of the day, we're just normal people. I suppose there's a, uh, a responsibility that, that sportsmen have. I think it's one that most uh, sportsmen carry with pride. If we can bring a few kids into the stadium and 10, 15 years, they're going to be the ones who are going to need to be, be coming here. The club gets quite a lot of I think they might think it's extremely expensive when, when really the, the cost of clubs are minimal because they can get an awful lot back in return by getting children into, this, into the club and maybe, you know, end up in a shop and so on. Living in Lambeth, we've never been to the Oval and now we're, we've been here and I've been following it on the telly and it's it's just fantastic and I hope that we'll come again to some matches. I approached Dyke here and they painted the centre, the dots down the wall, uh, all new furniture, Asgard Media. He wanted to put something back into the community, the club and the little stores in Warrington supply fr uh, fresh fruit uh, twice a week. On a match day, we put shutters down over the computers and it's, it's news as a, a vice president's lounge where we bring all the sponsors, all the players, instead of having to go elsewhere to use the computers, they can come up here straight from the changing rooms. Also get all the help from you know, the, the staff in the study centre. Whenever we are struggling in the, in the club, you know, we're going to ask there for their IT skills, which again is invaluable to us. It's hugely important to have that local association. If you can do that through education and through children, that's a fantastic thing for us. Like, if, it's probably people that haven't been here that they think, yeah, it's only a tennis place because it's Wimbledon tennis. Just come here, try it and change your mind. They're doing a fun way than, like, just normal teaching. Here, yeah, it's, like, more relaxed, so you work really well and they're still teaching you. I think you have to look at the children's faces when they come to an award ceremony to, to see the effect it has on them. We 
we see more young people on our practice pitches, on our holiday courses now wearing Ipswich Town shirts and frankly, you know, in the Ipswich and Suffolk area, that's what we want to see. We're about hearts and minds, you know, we want to get hold of these young people and uh, of course there's an element of wanting to grab them at an early age and actually tie them into the club, but also is to show them and their families that, you know, the club has a, an integral part in the local community and we can actually demonstrate that by the work that we're doing with Playing for Success. What's my favourite book? It's Michael Palin's diary on the Python years. Alex Ferguson's autobiography. Biography of Mountie Tom. I can't tell you. Tom Clancy, without remorse. Lord of the Rings. <laughs> You'd love it. With Ian Fleming, James Bond books. Rat Scabies and the Search for the Holy Grail by Christopher Dawes. So you've got a swear word in the title, <laughs> but it's a psychology book. Well, my favourite author is George Orwell. The Philip Pullman trilogy. Harry Potter. It's a boy's life. The last Harry Potter. Lord of the Rings. The Beach. Because it's just a crazy, crazy book. It's got a crazy ending. Harry Potter. James and the Giant Peach. Something about horses. 